Well, hello everyone. Thanks for tuning in to KT Garage. In this video, I'm gonna uh, show you this beautiful Oldsmobile. Uh, it's a 1971 Oldsmobile and the killer sound system that I put in it. Uh, it does look complicated, uh, but it is a, such a simple uh, system to install. So I'm gonna go through the car, show you all the work I've, I've done. And then at the end of the uh, video, I'm, I'm gonna crank it up so you can see all the subwoofers moving, car shaking. So uh, please stay tuned. All right guys, so let's start off from back here. Um, first thing you see missing is the dyno mat that I should be putting under the trunk lid because it rattled quite a bit when I shut the trunk. Um, so it's a closed uh, enclosure box. Uh, I custom built it myself. Uh, it's got uh, four cubic feet of airspace for all four of these speakers. So it's the correct airspace according to uh, kickers. Uh, these are 12 inch kicker uh, L7R, uh, four of them. Uh, driving by a kicker, 1800.1 uh, amplifier and it's, it's a perfect combination combination for driving these four cells. Um, you can see it's a nice and clean install. Um, I chose not to do fiberglass and all that stuff. Uh, it just takes too much work and um, it doesn't make your, your sound system uh, sounds any better. So I decided to have a clean install, but uh, it takes a fraction of the time to do fiberglass. Um, I did hide all the wires to make it look nice and neat. Real simple setup, just uh, a positive negative uh, uh, zero gauge, remote turn on, speaker wire, or subwoofer wires, and RCA uh, input. That's it. Uh, that's from the head unit. And uh, over here, you can see there's a uh, fuse, 250 amps fuse. Uh, in there and that's pretty much uh, all this in the trunk you can see like this whole stack of stuff that um, that I bought for the system is about to go to uh, be recycled here's the car it's a beautiful uh, restored Oldsmobile most of it is just stock you can see stock tires um, Everything is left untouched. Um, I decided to make this thing a sleeper, so um, no, nobody is going to expect I have that that killer sound system in it. You normally see those sound system in like cars with crazy rims and all that good stuff. So uh, just leave my own stock. I, I I like stock cars. Um, so let's look in the engine bay. Um, did have to upgrade the battery, of course. Uh, this is a um, yellow top Optima battery. You need a deep cycle uh, for it to draw, for, for the stereo system to draw power. So, um, so one for now, I, I'm planning on adding another one on that side. That's, that's empty space over there. You really need two to be able to feed uh, all the current to that amplifier. Um, so here's a zero gauge that goes into a circuit, a circuit breaker and then it goes all the way out back. Uh, you can see that I have really good grounding. This ground goes all the way down there to the frame of the car. So I want to make sure we, I have good grounding. Uh, so yeah, um, down the road I need to upgrade that alternator into a 200 amp. But for now, uh, just leaving it alone because this car sounds crazy already. Um, so let's look inside, I'll show you what I've done. Um, I didn't feel like messing around with the, uh, the older uh, radio. So I just left it the way it is. And I built this custom piece down here out of metal and painted with the same color of the car. So it makes, makes it look like it's belong there. Um, I have a, um, um, single din, um, a st a head unit on this side, uh, a signal processor on this side. And then while I was at it, I add a few more gauges, uh, because the car doesn't, uh, have like 
uh, detailed information on oil pressure and water temperature and all that good stuff. So might as well just throw it in there. Um, this signal processor is a really cool unit. Um, I had it for many, many years. It's a DEQ 7600. And um, so I decided to put on, on on this car because it's single DIN and there's nowhere else uh, to put it on the, the modern cars. Um, when I crank it up, you can see it has like digital display and there's a ton of setting uh, that you can process through that head unit. Uh, this Pioneer, Pioneer unit is uh, is fairly new to the market. Picked it up for like 120 bucks. It's not bad. It's got what I need. Um, real, real simple uh, system. So I bypass all that radio stuff. So um, yeah, no, that's that's how it is inside. And check it out. I even have like like this uh, microphone for like making phone calls in the car. So how cool is that? Um, so that's the car. Do some more shots of the car right here. Yeah, it's a beautifully restored uh, Oldsmobile. Um, I bought it uh, partially restored. I just finished the work. Um, did some engine work, make it look more pretty. Not show car quality uh, as far as engine goes, but you know, uh, it's um, it's good enough for me. I'm not trying to uh, win a car show with this car. It's just something that I like to work on and enjoy and drive it around. So yeah, guys, uh, that's the uh, that's the Oldsmobile project. Uh, took me about a month to get this thing done. Uh, I only work on these on the weekends, so it's, it's not too bad. All right, guys, uh, thanks to YouTube uh, music copyright protection. Uh, this is the only thing I can play for you, uh, but it does have some real cool bass. So, uh, all right, let's crank this thing up. Trunk lit and uh, let's try it again. Oh yeah, it makes a big difference. It hit a lot harder. video that explained in detail of what I had done to, uh, to the car, to the system, 
Uh, it's a long, uh, longer video, but it has uh, a lot of useful information if, uh, in case you want to set up something like this uh, on your own without having to take it to the uh, stereo shop and pay, uh, pay a ton of money for it. So uh, anyway, if you like the, uh, the content, uh, please like and uh, subscribe. Thank you.